Ladies and gentlemen, the Digimon card game booster box. Absolutely buzzing to open some of these and we're going to open 10 in this video. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh, cool. Free card sleeves. That's good for morale. What? Oh, buzzing. We've got a free promo pack of some description. Dun, dun, dun. Matt. Buzzing. Shiny Matt. The shinies are kind of discreet on these the, on this set, but I like it. And that's Matt's swanky new do for the Digimon reboot. Sick. Pops like so. Bold and voila. Look at that beauty. Can you imagine a world where you walk into a shop and see that on the shelf? Paradise. The only thing better than seeing it in a shop is seeing the full box in your bedroom. Right, so we're going to open 10 of these bad boys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ace. First pack. My first ever Digimon card game booster pack. Okay, so the first pack, we're just going to go for it this way around. And then I'll see if there's any kind of pattern when the rares come. So that's Okuamon. No, it isn't, you stupid idiot. It's actually Grand Kawagamon. Looks like some kind of option card. Buzzing. So we've got option card. Oh, what? Now nah, this is testing my Digi knowledge. Monodramon. Sick Digimon nonetheless, though. Really cool little dude. Wasn't expecting to see him. Next, Ogamon. The colours are so vibrant on these cards. And like I said in the deck box unboxing video, the cards are thick. They feel a lot sturdier than a lot of other cards, which is cool. Monzemon! Perfect. Look, we got him. Monzemon Sprite and 2020 illustrated Monzemon card. Ace. Saber Leomon! What? <laughs> what a beast. And lastly, Groundramon. That's eight. Oh, wait, is that? That's an option card. So that's not actually Groundramon. That's probably Groundramon's attack or something like that. And lastly, one of them, whatever that is. So, yeah, it looks like they open as they come because I would say that those are the two kind of rares of the pack. So we'll just open them that way around. Cool. Pack one, down. Pack two. Three, two, one. Reveal. Carbu Terrymon. Electro Shocker. I'm not familiar with this Digimon. Looks kind of like a Power Ranger Megazord. No idea who that is, but cool little gold metal tiger lion thing. Another one whose name escapes me. Little tiger dude and looks like the rookie stage of whatever this Digimon is. Pretty cool. Unexpected to see kind of quirky, lesser known Digimon in this set, which is good because this kind of gives me confidence that we're going to see more Digimon like this in the Digimon reboot anime which is ace so that's got to be his champion ain't it that's got to be his champion again <laughs> i don't know his name got some mad earrings bro <laughs> sick bergeron i know that one meteor wing one sick looking chicken and the rare mimi looking beautiful the the gold trims like shiny which is kind of cool these 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 next pack Three, two, one. Reveal. Monzemon again. Well, we've got a bit of a theme developing. Stomping his way through Toy Town at night. Balloons looking so cool. Sinister and adorable all at the same time. And immensely powerful too. Sick. War Greymon. Again, this is the option card. So this isn't the actual War Greymon card. This will be his attack maybe. Next. Oh, it's... I don't know how I know its name. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's like Tsukaimon or something like that. Tsukaimon T S U K. Yeah, Tsukaimon maybe. Patamon's alternate colours anyway. Buzzing to be seeing all these quirky, more obscure Digimon in this. This is brilliant. Kokuamon. Little electric bug. There he is working his ass off, giving everyone power. Ace. Tight <laughs> Dude! Sick! This is Titamon. Mega level, immensely powerful beast. So sick. Oh, what? That artwork is immense. What a dude. And Izzy. 
in Digimon Reboot, I love how they're exploring deeper the friendship between Ty and Izzy. I think that's really cool. So yeah, buzzing to have the Izzy card. Next pack. Here we go. Another one whose name escapes me. I'm familiar with this Digimon, but I don't know its name. It's from Data Squad Season 5. Goborimon, or Goblimon. Ace little dude. Mysterious Lion. Look at that mad bling. Ah. This is one of the ones that are in the preview for the next episode that is hopefully going to come soon. Again, don't know its name. <laughs> Some kind of angel type thing with like a load of swords and stuff. Ah, so cute. It's Baby Demon or Petitmon. It's Dracomon's in training level Digimon. And I, I've, I don't know, actually. I don't know what's going on there. This has got to be something from the show, definitely, because like we've got a load of confused looking Digimon in the background. We've got this little guy. It looks sort of half human, half Digimon. Interesting stuff. Cool. And that's that. Next pack. Ah, it's that mysterious Angel of Blades thing again that we saw earlier. Obviously, this would probably be his attack card. Ah, oh, Mushroom Mon or Mushmon. Kind of an ugly Digimon in my opinion. Uh, I recently raised him on my pendulum and yeah, I fell in love with him and all that, but not one of Digimon's best designs, in my opinion. Next, Elecmon. Oh, that's a sick card. Really cool. Ace. <laughs> Again, I'm completely lost as to who this is supposed to be. It looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. No idea. Some kind of wizard dude with a gold sword, loads of gems, pointy purple hat. No idea. <laughs> oh, no way. Sick. Break Dramon. Buzzing. He is Kordramon Green's mega level. And... Zudomon, sick. Oh, that's that's like a rainbow shiny type thing as well, which is really cool. Vulcan's hammer, it's so good. And it's nice to see a card that I actually know the name of as well. First up, Saber Leomon again. So we're definitely going to get some serious Saber Leomon action in the Digimon reboot. Oh no, as if Mucho Mon's here. <laughs> Mucho Mon. Oh, dude. That's um, Penguin Mon's recolor. Mucho Mon. He's like the tropical version. As if two Mucho Mon's here. That is so good. Uh, I was only talking the other day about how massively underrated Penguin Mon is. So if Mucho Mon's here, let's pray for Penguin Mon too. Buzz in. Buzz best card so far, hands down. And it's probably a common as well, but this is so cool. Goblin Mon again. Mysterious Yu-Gi-Oh! Wizard Man. <gasps> oh, dude, Metal Greymon. Another Metal Greymon art as well. It's not one of the ones we got in the starter deck, which is sick. Metal Goddamn Greymon. <laughs> oh, they've gone for like a sort of 3D looking type shot. Oh, he's such a beast. Standing in some kind of wasteland, just absolutely slaying. The dude is here. Oh, it's um, Cerberomon. Ace, three-headed dog thing with daggers and green energy oozing out of him. What a beast. So cool. What a pack. What a pack. Kicking ass. Next pack. I haven't actually spoken about the pack artwork yet. Metal Garurumon, War Greymon, Hercules Carboteramon, Omnimon, Magna Angemon. Ace. Three, two, one. Reveal. Kokuamon, Ogamon. Oh, it's the option card, but still, that is a sick artwork. That's Metal Tyranamon. So good. So, so, so good. Elecmon again. Buzz in. Guru. <laughs> That's ace. Garurumon, and he's got a bone in his mouth. He's a good boy. Playing fetch with Garurumon. Just, I don't know, I feel like he'd find that a bit degrading. <laughs> ace. And. Hercules Carbu Terrimon. Absolute hero. Cool. Another sick pack. Why has Garurumon got a bone? That's just so cute. Top marks for originality. Three packs remaining. Here we go. Monzemon again. 
Oh, Cockatorimon! An actual big badass chicken. He's coming for you, Colonel Sanders, and he's not happy. Mysterious lion Digimon again. Interesting. Now that looks like Rosemon, but without any clothes on. <laughs> maybe that's part of her evolution sequence. As she goes from Lilymon to Rosemon, maybe that's part of how it looks when she evolves, maybe. Who knows? Next. Re it's Repamon. No, it's not. It's Rep. This is the one I was talking about earlier, whose name I couldn't remember from Data Squad. I'm pretty sure this is Repamon. I'm pretty sure you're wrong. I hope it's Repamon. Well, it isn't. Next. Oh, that is cool. That is so sick. That's like full art Okuamon. Gran Kuagamon. Kicking ass. Most sinister beetle you're ever going to see in your whole life. The shiny aspect of these cards, though, is really discreet. Like, I feel like you could look at that and not necessarily notice that it was shiny. Yeah, subtle. I think we'll go, we'll use the word subtle. And it, but it's nice, it's tasteful. Buzz in. Two packs remaining. Here we go. Big chicken. Ah, oh, Jagamon. Again, option card, so that'll be his attack. He's just firing potatoes at people. They're rocks, but they look like potatoes. <laughs> Gomamon. Ah, oh, that's cute. Hanging out with his fish. That's a really nice style. I love how vibrant the colours are on all these cars. It's such a beautiful style. War Greymon's some kind of War Greymon attack. This guy again. What's his name? Was only talking about him the other day because he appears in the preview for the next episode of the reboot. And I just can't remember his name. At least in this one we get a good look at him. So he's obviously some kind of metal angel with blades for hands and wings and feet. And a blade sticking out of his head just for good measure. He's obviously going to play a big part in the reboot. Next. Oh, that is beautiful. That's Tanamon working her fingers to the bone at the meat farm. File City vibes. File City vibes. Yes. In the background, we've got some Yoramon also working their fingers to the bone collecting meat. This is straight out of Digimon World 1. This might be my favourite card so far for what it represents. Little baby Tanamon growing meat at the meat farm. Euromon working away. The sun rising. It's beautiful. Beautiful. A new dawn of Digimon. Sick. The final pack for this video. Fear not. We're obviously going to be opening the entire box throughout other videos and stuff. The final pack. Boom. Oh, now that's Repamon. That's the one that goes into the other one that I thought was Repamon. I don't know. But anyway, it's a... Ace fox dog thing with a blade for a tail. Muchomon again. That is so cool. I'm going to lose it. If we see Muchomon in the reboot, I'm going to lose it. Metal Tyranimon. Frigimon. Yes. Everyone's favourite abominable, abominable snowman. Sub-Zero Ice Punch. Kicking ass. Interesting. It looks like Minervamon, but it isn't Minervamon. At least I don't think it is. Unless it's a redesigned Minervamon. But like, the big sword, the wings, the green gem. Badass chick though, nonetheless. Yokomon! And Yokimon in the background. That's ace. So, I've got five sleeves. And all these epic cards. Let's just have a quick blast through the highlights just to look at them again. Titamon. Saber Leomon. Mimi. Monzemon. Izzy. Break Dramon, Zudomon, Metal Grey Dude, Hercules Carbuterimon, Okuomon, <laughs> Good Boy Garurumon, Meat Farm Tanamon, Yokomon and Yokimon, and Muchomon. So, that about wraps it up for this video. If you're interested in these, then keep your eyes peeled because I'm going to be opening so many more of these. I think this set is really exciting because of how many quirkier and more obscure Digimon are in the set. It's been really cool to see Digimon that I actually don't know the name of. That's been a refreshing change. Not that I know loads of Digimon, but there are so few Digimon that get so much attention that there are so many Digimon that don't get enough attention. So it's really sick to see that in this new generation of Digimon stuff, they're putting the spotlight on some of the other sick Digimon out there. The artwork is brilliant, um, the colours are really vibrant, the cards feel super thick and sturdy. I think these are going to be ace and I'm praying they're going to release them in English. But regardless, I'm going to keep collecting these and yeah. Let me know, have you got any booster packs? Have you pulled anything sick? Have you pulled a Metal Greymon? 
So if you want to see more of these, then keep your eyes peeled for future videos where I'll definitely be opening more. Enough of that. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay ace, and peace out.